Hey everyone, Keith here from Tips and Tricks HQ. In this video, I want to show you how to set up a custom page style for your PayPal checkout. Now, the first thing you want to do when you log into your PayPal account, um, you can head to the Edit Custom Page Style page, and to get that, you go to Profile under My Account. And from there, make sure you're in the My Selling Tool section. And then under Co Custom Payment Pages, click on Update and then click on add and when you're there you'll be in this section here and then you fill in all the information you give it the, you give it a name um, that way you can distinguish it from the other ones you can set up the three of them and then you set what the primary one is but then when you create a button you can actually have it set up so that um, a specific page style is used when you're setting up that button and then you want to create a URL and they're looking for a max I mean sorry you want to create a you want to put in the URL for the logo image and they're looking for a max size of 190 and a max height of 60 and the server where the uh, logo should be, is stored should be on a secure server that way during checkout um, the customer isn't um, given a warning in their web browser saying that there's insecure elements on the page and the customer won't know exactly um, what component of the page is insecure so they might abandon the cart because they're not sure they're not comfortable um, with the security of the website so just make sure that when you're putting in your logo you make sure that it's uh, on a secure server and then you can specify uh, a gradient color for the cart area and you can get just you can pop up this little window here for to get the hex code you just choose the color here and when you click on it you just have to copy this value here and those of you familiar with hex codes you don't put the uh, pound symbol in the front you just um, paste paste in the, uh, the actual hex value in there and then there's a different uh, um, there's a couple other colors that you can specify the header background color if you want uh, the border color and the same thing you can just pop up the hex code selector choose the color and copy it now then there's the payment flow background color so there's just a few different colors there now as far as the uh, header image URL goes it's very similar to the logo where it has to be for on a secure server and the size they're looking for um, is 750 by 90 um, max 750 and then the max height is 90 so then you specify the, the URL in there um, if you don't have a header image to put in and you want to you want to create one um, you can leave it blank but if you wanted to create one I'll show you how to do that here um, really quick I'll go into my website here I have this uh, plugin tool here it's called awesome screenshot capture and annotate it's a it's a little um, add-on for Chrome the Chrome web browser then you can click on capture selected area and then just drag a section of a header of your website and then you can make it whatever size you want you see in the top left there there's the size and then you can 725 by 90 so now you have you can create your own header image um, and you click on capture do what you want with it click on done and then save the image to your computer and then when uh, when it's on your computer then you upload it to a secure server so that uh, it could be hosted here so then you just put in the um, the URL to it and that's all there is to it and then you click on save you can preview how it looks um, the classic checkout is what traditionally what people will see um, PayPal is currently working on an enhanced checkout so random people will see that enhanced checkout so you can take a look at what, what it's going to look like on both of them um, until the enhanced checkout is completely rolled out um, there's information on that right there and that's it just click on save and then remember the name for when we use it uh, in WPE store Actually, before showing you how to use this in WPE Store, I just wanted to show you how to use it um, for an existing 
uh, PayPal button under merchant services when you're creating a new button uh, and step three customize advanced features you can scroll down turn on a, the option to add advanced variables and then you put page underscore style equals and then you specify the name of your page style and that's it okay so now to use that page style here in eStore what you want to do is go to WP eStore then go to settings choose payment gateway settings across the top there and then scroll down and then where you see custom checkout page style name you specify the name in there so the one we just created the test one we could just put in the name right in there and when the button gets created um, when the PayPal button gets created in WPE store the the plugin will automatically put that value in um, it'll pass that value so it, it'll know which um, payment style page to show up during during the checkout flow all right that's all there is to it now uh, again this is Keith from tips and tricks HQ thanks a lot for watching have a great day